welcome everybody back for another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be trying and rescuing some of our stuff from the past episode, in the hopes that it is in our ender chest. So, first things first, what do we need? We need an ender chest. And let's see if we've got the materials to, to do it. I think, well there's one thing. And then I think my obsidian is in there, yeah. So yeah, we're coming back to this in quite a sort of really bad way. So, obviously as you guys know if you've watched the last episode, if you didn't watch the last episode, I kind of suggest you go back and watch it because it will explain all. I went to the end, flew around for a bit, tried to exit the end, and I got I looked at an Enderman, I read some comments, and I should have used my shield, I should have put a walker bucket down, should have probably blocks off, or flown away, or just piled up with blocks. There's lots of ways that I could have survived and could have had all my stuff, but in the end, you kind of have to just deal with how you died. So, in this ender chest there will be some stuff and it will have some of the stuff that I have kept. So, along with a bunch of shovels, a sword, that's obviously a really nice... Ooh, that's a really good one. A chest plate, some boots, which I think I can put on. Yeah. And a couple of diamonds, more loot, dragon's head, some smithing templates, some more, so that's probably a better one to use. And then a bunch more armor and stuff. So some of the stuff that we collected in the, the end is still here, and I have been able to keep some of it. Now there's a couple of things I do need to replace, like my leggings, which is quite simply not going to be as good as they were previously. I'm literally just going to grab some diamonds, I guess, or something, yeah, yeah. And just make some regular diamond leggings, just for now, to get all my armor stats up. I'm also going to see if we can get some more wood and get some shulker boxes on the go. I'm like trying to think what these things are called. So let's do a good like that gets me two. And I need a chest or wood. Still not sure if you can combine. You're not sure if you can combine wood anymore to make stuff. I know you can. So that'll get me three shulker boxes, just like so. There is a couple of things I'm going to need between now and the time that we go and back to the end and go and explore for more stuff. One thing being more firework rockets, which I need obviously sugarcane for, for the paper, which I've actually got loads of paper anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. And I also need to get some more books so that we can get some mending on our elytras. And we need some unbreaking on them as well. And I need, I'm trying to look for gunpowder. I keep getting confused. So I need some gunpowder as well. I'm pretty sure I probably don't have any gunpowder. Hopefully I'm going to have enough... Uh, Enrolls somewhere. This is really loud in here now. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is really loud in here. So the mending guy is, I think, this guy. Yeah. And he also has the. I didn't get an unbreaking guy, did I? But this guy's mending. He costs seven emeralds plus a book to get mending on it. So I'm going to quickly see what the enchanting table says that will go on it. 
So I do need lapis for that. I think I have lapis. As he looks in all of his chests again. I think I have lapis somewhere. Maybe it's um maybe it's in here. I have no idea where my lapis is. Anyway, there's some emeralds. I think you can buy lapis from this guy. Yep, let's see what the level 30... Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get the level 30 enchant, unfortunately, but... No, you can't. You have to book it. Okay. So, I'm going to build up some emeralds and stuff like that by selling the iron and, obviously, the carrots and the potatoes. You'll get to see some of this farms I've been work I work so hard on in off camera working now. Yeah, but it's gonna be very loud for me. So there we go, get rid of them. Get rid of these. See you how many are oh god. That has been uh that has definitely been working, that is for sure. Um I didn't think it was gonna be that full. I mean so much so that I have actually completely run out of space for everything. That is crazy. That is so loud down there as well. That is crazy how much iron there was in there. So let's get some books. Obviously, we need an unbreaking as well. But. That will get us the mending books that we require. So we'll do book then. And we'll do a light book. And now we have an elytra with ending. So we also need to get some more books. I'm trying to think where they would be. Because we need some unbreaking. Let's do this. Um, we're still looking for creepers, remember, so we need to keep an eye out for those. Um, look. We need creepers, so let's see if we can do a little bit of creeper hunting. from the area and then sort of head back sort of the way the mobs spawn I think so if we go away from there in fact if we just fly over to this island It'll be a bunch of creepers. See if we can get them on their own. Not quite what I wanted to do, but 
kind of worked. And you just fly away, come back. Eventually we'll make a creeper farm, so this is a lot easier to to do, so I don't have to like keep running up and down and taking them out. So, hey, I don't like you, Enderman. I'm not your fan. I'm not a big fan of you. So as um, a night of hunting, um, there is going to be creepers still around, hopefully, so that we can get some in the in the daytime. But this is a fortune. Okay. I'm trying to think, like it's worth. It's not worth putting fortune on it because fortune doesn't work on a sword, Tom. You need looting. It's the thing that you were thinking of. That gives me 18 fireworks as a fool. Can you buy gunpowder from, from this guy? No. No, no, you can't. That's obviously not going to get me very far. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and spend, well, about an hour going and collecting some gunpowder from the creepers or wherever. I can find some. Because I'm pretty sure you can't trade for it, so there's no real point doing that. So, Or I might look at building a farm. For now, I'll do that off camera, so for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fly in a direction that I've never gone in before, which I think is this way. And we're going to go see if we can find some new biomes. And obviously, I've got to be very careful with rockets. Now, obviously, we do have paper on us, so when it comes to the next day, then we'll be able to actually get back because we can always take out creepers and stuff of a night time. So let's go for a little bit of an explore, see if we can find some of these new biomes. The uh, big spruce forest looks really cool. Or maybe we can look for some those ruins. I didn't bring a brush though, that's the only thing. Uh, maybe, maybe we can explore a little bit of the world this way. That's really cool. It's cool how there's like a, like a shelf. Yeah. We are going to have to land somewhere soon and go for a little bit and explore. I was kind of hoping to find like a, a village or something out here. So we can go and explore that, but snowy pile. Hey, look, a village right on the edge. Right, let's go pillage the village. And the ice shouldn't take too much damage. So when the villagers, they're actually going to be potentially changing how they work as well. So instead of you being able to get whatever book you want from them, you will have to go and explore different biomes to unlock different trades. Um, you have to look on the uh, Minecraft wiki because I, I doubt I'll be able to get any of the information up. But 
they're basically going to take away the ability to get certain books from villagers unless you're in certain biomes, which is really quite interesting. And I don't think that I think some of the community won't mind, but for the most part, the community is so used to like being able to essentially get what they want from it. So, um, what they want from the villagers and what whatever book they'd like. So I think that the change would potentially be uh, received negatively um, overall. So personally, I think that it is sort of it's sort of too easy to get some of the books like mending and stuff. But you have to, you will have to go to a certain biome in the new update to actually get a med. Oh, there's foxes. I forgot they were in the game. Anyway, so you'd have to go to a particular biome to get the librarian villager to trade you a mending book. So you'd have to go and explore. But obviously some biomes that are listed in that in that piece, you can't actually... No village spawns. So they're, have, they're gonna have to add like new villages and other stuff like that. So that you can actually, so that you can actually get, what am I trying to get? You can actually get the books in the villages so you don't have to like create your own village. Although creating your own village isn't like the hardest thing ever. It is kind of irritating sometimes when you, you're trying to mess with the villagers and they really don't want to play ball. Well, realistically, when do they ever play ball? So... I think that it might be a good change, but we'll have to see what happens, really, realistically, so. Oh, there's diamonds in there, and obsidian. Yes, I'm mining it with a diamond pickaxe. Anyway, we got a bunch of stuff from here, actually. I think that's everything, though. Let's see... We've only got a couple more rockets left, that's the problem. Also, my mouse is like double clicking everything, so yeah, let's go explore this snowy. I think it's a snowy tundra. I mean, we have to do it on foot, so I'm gonna put my chest plate back on. Actually, you can do a little bit like this. That was kind of cool, wasn't it? Right. Let's go and explore the snowy tundra. Ooh, this is what I was talking about. How do I make... This is what I was on about. These are the ruins. So it's kind of cool that we've been able to find this. Now, they do go quite deep, I'm pretty sure. And they do have suspicious dirt, which is what these look like. But unfortunately, I haven't got any... I'm going to have to do some of the old... Uh... do this and then get some copper actually you know what we should do we should probably go find a cave I think that's easier because I think there's I think there's literally one like right here wow not a cave but definitely somewhere that's more likely to have some copper Showing. Definitely iron. Not that we need iron from the looks of nice and copper. Cool. So we get some copper. We'll get a brush, and then we can. I can. Sh we can have a look at that new mechanic. Let's see. If we can put some of this stuff away. Oh yeah, I was like trying to put a shulker box in a shulker box. Is not going to work. Right, let's get back up to the top. We'll get some coal as well while it's... Is there a fortune? Yes, it does. Noise. So we need to mine all this away. Let's go back to where that was before I forget. Try 
kind of already have, but there it is. Um, so we need some wood for a crafting table. Yes, it's going to be a floating tree. Not so floaty tree. All right, let's get ourselves a crafting table. Do the old craft the Rooney of a. I must have put it in the uh, shulker box. Get ourselves a furnace. Get ourselves a bunch of copper smelting cup. That's probably too much. So. So when it comes to the brush itself, if I type in brush, how is he not craftable? I need a stick, feather, which is uh, quite lucky I got a feather. More wood, so. And again, not, not floating, not floating. There we go. Get some copper. Make a brush. Uh, we can oh, probably put our shulker box back down up here. Let's clear out some of this stuff. Right, let's um, let's start digging. Right. So the suspicious stuff looks like this, and you can do a little bit of this. So that's going to give me a glass pane. Not all of it is obviously suspicious dirt, so. So like, this is, and that's gonna give me a, okay, it looks like a um, bit of dye. Shard. Dangerous, danger pottery shard. But yeah, these ruins will go, they go quite low, I'm pretty sure. And I've like terracotta in them. And... What's that going to give me? Clay. So yeah, they give me like mud and a bunch of just like fran oh I almost broke that one a bunch of random resources this one's gonna give me it's like an emerald there is a bunch of cool stuff you can actually get from these ruins but obviously I'm I'm not getting very lucky at the moment like I said they go quite low You can't see anything unless it has uh, brightened up your day. But yeah, these are basically all of the ruins and stuff, but I kind of want to get back home and start exploring the end a little bit more. I think that we can always return to stuff like this at a future date. I want to start sort of exploring the end a little bit more because I kind of feel like I need to do that at some point. And there uh, we are. In the territory of baby zombies, because I can hear them. So, uh, nighty night. And all that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of me kind of exploring around. I'm sorry it's been... I'm sorry it's been a little while since the last episode, but I was trying to, like collect all my thoughts and stuff and trying to figure out what we're going to do between episodes and stuff and I wanted to get a couple of farms built and stuff but I just never really had the time but hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of me exploring the world again we'll be back to regular Minecraft videos 
sooner rather than later. And uh, you can join me in taking out random animals that are quite literally innocent. But your boy's got to eat, so why not? Also, you're trapped, so haha. -ha. Really, just one. Come on. Come on, cook. Yep, yeah, like I said, anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy me just exploring a little bit more of the world. We'll have to go take out some creepers and stuff, and I might even make a creeper farm between episodes, but I'm not too sure yet. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope to see you guys next time. Good. Bye.